We have seen people across the tri-state band together for good as a result of the pandemic. And one of those groups is iHeartDance NYC, an initiative to get dancers performing again. It is now setting its sights on what is happening in Ukraine. Now it is news reporter Lauren Glassberg has a story. Adrian Mitchell and Andrea Lashkova danced for a ballet company in St. Petersburg until the day Russia invaded Ukraine. My mom, she was calling me like consistently multiple times a day. Um, insisting that we leave. They're now safe in New York and preparing to perform Saturday night in an I Heart Dance NYC for Ukraine benefit. We're all heartbroken of what's happening. As is Christine Shevchenko, a principal dancer with American Ballet Theater. She was born in Ukraine. I'm actually doing a duet by a Ukrainian choreographer. It's an odd to Ukraine and my homeland. Each dancer has a deeply personal reason for participating in Saturday's show, but for Ukrainian born ballroom dancer Antonina Skobina, everything is destroyed. <laughs> the horror of what's happening is palpable. My family is in Mariupol. I have no connection with them since March 2nd. In Saturday's performance, she and her Ukrainian born husband will dance to The Show Must Go On by Queen her mother's favorite. I can only imagine what my mom and grandmother are going through right now. So I'm going to try to do everything in my power to dance for them. Money raised in the event will go to Friend Fund. That's a Ukrainian foundation that supports soldiers and their families. The goal is to raise $100,000 through ticket sales and donations. And there's so much interest, a second show may be added. We have to do our part in this, uh, in this fight, and it doesn't have to be with weapons. It can be through arts, through culture. This is our way of fighting against what's happening. Fighting with beauty, grace, and heart.